Right, it started with a new father worried about his baby daughter sleeping in a crib. And now a Pinellas County man has turned his creation into a growing business. Tonight, reporter Eric Waxler showing us what the Crescent Womb is all about. In 2014, James Spencer was about to become a father for the first time. He went to classes and read everything he could. That's kind of a double edged sword because, you know, you learn all the things you're supposed to do, but you also learn all the things that can go wrong. One of his main worries, safety in the crib. 28 infants died in the Tampa Bay area from unsafe sleep practices just last year. Although most involve co-sleeping, experts say suffocation can also happen because of blankets or toys in the crib. So James, who was studying business at St. Pete College, designed this. Basically, it attaches to the four corners of the crib like this. We called it the crescent womb. The focus of the design was create something where there's, there's zero risk of any any air restriction. His original design fit on a laundry basket and his daughter slept well like a baby. She loved it. Yeah, she absolutely loved it. And um, yeah, I got to sleep through the night and that was a major benefit. James quickly realized the Crescent Womb could work for so many others. And then people saw it and they're like, oh my gosh, we, we kind of want one of these friends and family. A Kickstarter campaign raised $130,000 and the company was off and running. It's now available on Amazon Prime for about $100 and James has sold thousands of them. Every day we get messages or uh, emails of parents that use the product and just, you know, say it's changed their life and helps them get more sleep, gives them peace of mind, keeps their child safe. The Crescent Womb is certified by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. James says he's ready to go big and would be glad to see that royal couple in England use the invention for their newborn prince. That would be amazing. Yeah, if you guys see this, you send me the address and I'll uh, send you one of every color. In Seminole, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.